Hi, hello you guys, my name is Elf, welcome back to my YouTube channel, welcome back, I want to say to the second day of Vlogmas, but I really don't think that this is going to be Vlogmas, I guess I'm going to try to upload as much as I can in December, it's just I have a lot of exciting things happening in December and I thought I would try to vlog, but some other days like I have nothing, I have nothing to do, literally, so I really don't know if me vlogging every day is going to be that exciting, and I think vlogmas has to do along with Christmas and decorating the house and getting into the Christmas spirit, but my place is really not that, so if you're expecting like home decor, this is not going to happen, the truth is I was planning on moving a couple of months ago, but then the second lockdown happened, and I was really excited for it because I want to vlogmas and finally have my own tree to decorate and stuff like that, but now, along with some other things that had to push back the moving date, it's more looking into February. So the only thing that I can really do is just like light up a candle. This is a molten brown tobacco absolute. I love this so much. So let's hope that this has brought you into the Christmas period because this is as much as it gets here. No, all jokes aside, I'll probably be getting like a small Christmas tree. The thing is that there's not many places that I can fit stuff in, especially with all of the samples and clothes that I usually have. So first things first, I'm gonna have to declutter my room to make sure that there is space to have a Christmas tree. So actually one of the things that I do wanna do today is take photos for Depop to sell some stuff. I have already donated and thrown away a lot of bucks the past couple of months when I was decluttering my wardrobe, but stuff I keep coming in. And the thing is that a lot of them are still new and with tags. So recently I've been putting them up on Depop and you guys have really seemed to be responding well to it because I do put the prices like a lot lower than what I get them. A lot of them are still like new season. So I figured it works well for both of us as you get stuff in good prices that are new in and I can get that money and reinvest it into new pieces to show you back on my Instagram and here. I need to do that today. I've been postponing it for so many weeks now, but now is the time. Like I need to find a space to put a Christmas tree somewhere. It's not gonna be like a two feet Christmas tree. I don't even think the ceiling in this room is two feet, but We'll see what we can do. Well, another thing that's been happening in my life the past a uh, couple of months now that I've tried to mention in a couple of videos but I just always cut it out because I want this place to be a place of happiness and I don't want to bore you with the details but, but I have been having some pains recently and I had to go to many doctor visits so that was obviously taking a lot of my time and I've been having major anxiety out of this because even though I'm doing all the tests, nothing really comes out bad. And it's nothing like serious, I don't wanna scare you. Like I can go on with my day-to-day -day life perfectly. If I have to like put the pain into 10, it's probably like a one or two. It's more my thought process of whenever something goes wrong, I have to think of the worst possible scenario. And that also applies apparently to my health. That's what's been going on in my life in terms of like serious talk recently. But moving on to something lighter, as you may have seen on my yesterday's video, I talked to you about a pair of shoes that I got recently that I'm very, very excited about. So I thought I would unbox this here with you today. So if you've been following me for a while, you know what shoe I'm talking about. Like if you've told me a couple of months ago that I'll be owning this shoe, I would have not believed you because I wanted this so bad for so many months, but I could never justify me buying this because it is just so, so expensive. And the suit that I'm talking about is inside this box that as you can see, it has written Bonega Veneta on it because yes, I ended up getting the Bonega Veneta suits that I always wanted. Name me a better coping mechanism to deal with anxiety. I don't think you can. So I'm gonna try to unbox it here in front of you. I hope nothing falls back. So I've already opened these shoes and I have worn them out because I needed to shoot some content with them uh, so they may have some defects on them. Now I'm working with Farfetch for their December campaign and they kindly gifted me a voucher and I was thinking of getting either something within the voucher code or just get something that I really, really wanted. So I did spend a good week trying to find out what I wanted because there's just so many pieces on the website that I actually want. But then I figured, you know what, LF, you've been really wanting this pair of suits for so long now. If there's ever a time to get them, this is it. This is your calling. And I ended up getting the black pair of the Bottega Veneta boots. Now, each pair comes in a dust bag with the Bottega Veneta logo, which is great because I will need to take care of these as my actual children. But these are the all black Bottega Veneta boots. 
how good do they look they look amazing i really cannot believe i own this pair this is so bizarre to me but you know what 2020 has been such a hard year for all of us that i thought if there is a year that i need to get them then this is it because we made it we are through December, 2021 is so close right now. And to give you two that hold the joy, I've partnered with Farfetch and they've given me 10% off on your purchase on the website. The code is LF10 and all you need to do is just apply it on the checkout and you get 10% off your next order. Now the code is valid up to 31st of December as far as I'm concerned. I'm gonna have all the terms and conditions on the description box below. But yeah, go ahead and treat yourself. You know you want to. You definitely deserve it this year. I've been shopping designer pieces for years now and Farfetch always has the biggest selection in designer items. There's so many items that I actually want from the website and if you want some inspiration you can go ahead and check my website. I'm gonna have a link to the description below. I have like a whole Farfetch selection of things that I want. Now going back to the shoes as I did mention before I was skeptical on getting them because they do cost quite a bit of money. I think they retail about 810 pounds which is a lot to spend on a clothing item. I've definitely done those mistakes before, especially with my triple S Balenciaga shoes where I bought something for so much money and ended up being like a trend piece. And then within a couple of years, it was already dead. I got sick of it. I didn't like wearing it. Like I've not worn my Balenciaga shoes for more than a year now. So if you're asking me, is it a good investment? I'm gonna say no because they're just sitting there collecting dust. However, with these boots, I first went ahead and got the ASOS dupes, which I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen, or if you've seen my previous ASOS Battle of Black boots. They're a pair that are very much inspired by the Bottega Veneta boots, and I got them a couple of months ago, and I love them so, so much. They're literally the only pair of shoes that I wear on my everyday to day life. I love how they look on me. They make every outfit look spicy. I wear them with joggers. I wear them with long pants. I would wear them with shorts too if the weather was appropriate. If I am to grab them, you can definitely see a lot of wear and tear. I've worn them to death. And really this just proved to me that this is a pair of shoes that I genuinely loved and that it fits very well with my style and my wardrobe. And it's not a pair of shoes that is going to go away in the next couple of years because it's just a very sick black boot. A winter staple in any man's and woman's wardrobe. So I thought that this was the perfect item to invest my money in and I am obsessed with it. I love it so, so much. It looks so much cooler than I, what I even thought. I tried it once in a department store and I fell in love with it. And I've been thinking about it ever since. I wanna say that was five to six months ago. Then I really wanted to get it in Venice because I thought the pricing there was better, but I just kept postponing it. But having been through a lot since then, I think that I deserve something nice. 2020 has been a crazy year. So this just really brings happiness at the moment and I really needed that. And again, it is a pair of suits that I, is going to last me and that I'll be using a lot in the next couple of years. So be prepared. I think what I'm going to do now is go ahead and try them on just so you can see them on foot as well. And I'll definitely be doing a video over the next couple of days where I'll be comparing them with the ASOS dupes inspired shoes, however you want to call them. But first I want to wear these as well for a couple of days just so I can have an honest opinion. So this is how they look on. They look so much better than the dupe ones. They're a little bit higher as well. So it covers more of the leg, but I'm not going to lie. They are a little bit of a pain to put on and even worse to take off, but so have the Asus dupe in the first couple of tries. So hopefully as the time goes by, the leather will get the shape of my feet like the asus one did but yeah i just love them so so much definitely my favorite purchase by far because they are very classic but they just look so so cool and so expensive Ooh. okay so this one just arrived right when i was doing my exercises for my back and let's open it together i think i already know what it is. i am working with hollister on their christmas campaign which i'm very excited about because i never worked with Hollister before and I must admit I didn't have Hollister back in Greece but when I first moved here in the UK Hollister was out of my budget for me so to be able to do this fun campaign for you guys really means a lot and I picked up a lot of different things I think I had to pick around like 10 to 13 and then they were gonna send me whatever was available sorry that I'm trying to scream literally there is 
pouring rain outside i'm just trying to talk over the rain because it is very very noisy and i don't know how it reads on camera i don't really remember what i think because it's been so long but like some fun jackets for instance which is, this is a very nice one i love the color of this and i love the fact that it's a surfer jacket because we do need that warmth especially here in the uk what else do i really like from here to show you oh this is probably one of my favorite pieces in this order because it is a corduroy shirt and you guys know how much i love corduroy especially around like fall winter it is in this dark green color which i love so much and i feel like this is a perfect mix of like an over shirt but also it could work so well as like a party shirt because it has like that sign obviously I have my ring light right against me because there is no like sign of day today I feel like it's a constant 24 hours darkness that we've been having recently and it reads so nicely against the light it has such a nice like shiny feel which would be perfect for like a party and then another one of my favorite ones there's a lot of things to go through you're gonna have to wait for my Instagram for that but it is this jumper right here I love the color of this so so much it's like a fisherman jumper but it's just such a beautiful stunning like green I can layer it now but I can also like wear it around springtime just like over kind of like my shirt or something and it will equally look very very cool like I love pieces like that that I can transfer around like spring and fall time so yeah like lots and lots of nice pieces uh, which you're gonna have to see in a bit okay now moving on from that because I will have to jump into the shower since I sweat a lot during my workouts if you're not able to tell so yesterday I went to Boots while I was in Oxford Street and I picked up um, a tonic solution because I get like comments on the daily that I am so pale recently I posted like my white hoodie that I got from the Pangea and people were like this is so not your color like you're so pale when will you understand this so that made me feel very bad about myself and I ended up getting the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express. I was using this last year and I was very happy with it because I don't have to sleep on it. I can just like put it on for a couple of hours and just wash it off instantly. I just hate those self tanners that you need to wait like hours and hours on end. I'm more of like just do it and get it over with kind of guy. So for one hour it's light, two hours medium and three hours it's dark. I usually leave it for three, three and a half hours and I just like that it's not orangey and it just blends very well with my skin tone. It's nothing like too crazy so it's just like a nice natural like tanner glow. I always look so pale and overexposed on the photo so I thought that this might help. So I just took a shower and I put the self tanning mousse. I think you can already tell that it's a little bit darker. I want to say there's a mixture uh, of orange and green now especially with the light that I have on me but hopefully it will go down into a normal looking color. I love this so much because it is actually one of the only ones that I've used that is coming out like quite naturally and it doesn't look like you've had so, like self done on. I'm gonna leave it for like a three, three and a half hours. Uh, in terms of my skincare, I think now you can tell that it's not really gone any better. I feel like I have my ups and downs where it gets like very prominent like for instance today and then some other times it's just completely gone but I just continue using the same products that I've told you in the previous video but hopefully once the tan sets in it will cover a little bit the redness but what I'm gonna do now is I I need to start editing I need to work on some YouTube videos that I have filmed but yeah I'm just gonna crack on editing for the next couple of hours and I'll catch up with you later Oh my god, I don't know how long I've been editing this video, but I completely forgot that I had a fake tan on and I look so dark right now. But hopefully I was to take off this color because it just looks so like so orange. Like my body's fine, but my face is just way too dark.
Hello you guys, it is about 8 o'clock now and I'm just making dinner. I washed my face and it is actually sitting a lot better. In my opinion, it looks a lot more natural. I have yet to wash my body. I'm gonna do that after I again do the exercises. But I think I'm going to add this vlog here because it really is not going to get any more interesting than this. I feel like the peak was really when I boxed the Bodega Veneta Suso so far. This vlog has just gone downhill. Something different for sure in this channel. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.